Hello and welcome to TechPlot 360EX. Today, we will be using the Fourier transform function to analyze a time series extraction from our transient simulation of this vertical axis wind turbine. In the previous video, we used the probe to create time series plot tool, which extracts a single point through time and creates a new frame. Now, we will use the Fourier transform tool to gather further information from the original data set using the time series plot and see how varying the probe location will affect the function and fundamental frequency. TechPlot uses the Fourier transform method to perform a frequency analysis on the extracted line plot. So we will first ensure that our frame with the time series plot is selected. Then select Data, Fourier Transform. From this dialog, we can choose our independent variable, dependent variables, and source zones. For now, let us select pressure as our dependent variable, the same as our time series plot. Choose the time series plot zone, as it is our only available zone. Change plot placement to tile with existing frames, and keep all the other defaults. Selecting transform will create a new frame with our Fourier transform function, plotted as amplitude versus frequency. Using the probe to create time series tool creates a new data set from the previous one with solution time added as an additional variable to plot against. The Fourier transform tool creates a new zone in this data set and creates three new variables for every dependent variable selected, frequency, amplitude, and phase. We notice that the Fourier transform function of pressure at this probe contains two spikes in amplitude, one at a lower frequency, close to 5 Hz, and one at a higher frequency, closer to 77 Hz. We can compare this with the time series plot, which we can see has a low frequency, high period component, as well as a high frequency, low period component. If we wish to change our probe location to the inlet at the left edge of our initial plot, the probe to create time series tool will overwrite the previous time series data set and therefore remove the previous Fourier transform plot. However, we can quickly use the right-click context menu to generate a new Fourier transform plot using the dependent variable plotted in our time series. Notice how probing near the inlet and far away from the turbine blades results in a Fourier transform that isolates the high frequency changes, which indicates that the variation in pressure was set as an input boundary condition. We can compare this with our initial probe location and infer that the lower frequency changes are due to the effect of the turbine blades themselves. Further analysis can be done on other variables in our data set. For example, when we probe close to where the vortices are shed, we can see how changes in turbulent viscosity are solely due to the low frequency changes caused by movement of the turbine blades. This concludes the third video in the transient series. You can download a free trial of TechPlot360 on our website, and thank you for watching.